All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of great meals and I do a well, and citations and blessings to you, Akim, that pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. Today, I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, A Great Number of Our People Will Die. All right, and hey, this is pretty much inspired by a conversation I had with um, some co workers a couple of days ago. You know, and this, the spirit had just hit me, you know, to go into this because our people, they, they really believe that hey, a gun is going to protect them. You know, hey, a gun is going to protect them. Things that they know is going to protect them. People that, you know, they clicks and all these things is going to protect them and get them through a hey, Jacob's trouble. You know, all hell breaks loose when a hey, hey, when it's total lawlessness out here, when it's a purge. A purge society out here every single day. All right, no, no, no boundaries. All right, to violence and wickedness. You know, and they truly believe that what they know, their guns. You know, hey, the system of, of Esau Edom. This place is gonna protect them. They believe all that shit, man. When all of these things are gonna fail you and it's gonna lead to your death and your destruction, because a gun is not gonna protect you on that day. Only Yahweh Shema Shai is gonna protect you on that day. If the Lord is not with you. When all hell breaks loose, when 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 you know when when martial law is out here, when you got beasts changing their places, hey, the only thing that's gonna protect you is the Lord, man. If you if the Lord is not on your side, if you don't if you ain't calling on the name of Yahweh Shema Shai in truth and in sincerity, you will die and you will be destroyed, man. So any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. This is Isaiah 31 and verse 1. It says, Woe, all right, and woe means destruction. So woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And that's what our people do. They go down to Egypt for help, man. They, they worried about what's going on in Egypt. They worried about, so like they worried about, you know, the things that Egypt can do for them and, and, and provide for them and protect them. You know, they're not worried about what the Lord is going to do for them. Oh, the Lord, how's the Lord going to get me through this jam? How's the Lord going to protect me in this jam? No, they go to the government for help. Hey, just like when um, Trump closed down the link, he shut off the link. Uh, you had a woman on the news crying to him saying, Trump, please turn back on the league. Please. That's what our people do. They cry to the they cry to Pharaoh. They cry to the 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 uh the government, man, these heels. When the Lord said that there's no help in them. Hey, let me um let me grab that right quick and bounce back. Because you're not gonna get any help from these governments, man, from this world. Only thing you're gonna get help from is the how about Shemal Shai. Otherwise, you're gonna be destroyed. This is uh, Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain. All right. Vain. There is no there is no help going to come from this. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Meaning these governments, man, these these mayors, you're not going to get help from them. It's, it's vain salvation. All right? It's, it's going to be some, you know, going, going to them is going to be all vanity, man. You're not going to get salvation from these uh, these mayors, these governments. Your presidents, all right, they're the ones that's pushing that button to cause all these things to happen, to cause all hell to break loose, man. So they're gonna, they're, they're actually down for your death and down for your downfall. They're the ones that's gonna, uh, they're the ones that want this agenda to come to pass, want the, you know, Esau to depopulate the world, man. And that's gonna start with you, Jakes, killing off a lot of you, Jakes, a lot of you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Said so truly, in Yahweh, our power. Is salvation of Israel. So yes, that's where the salvation is at. That's where the protection is at. There's no protection in, in salvation in these hills, in these governments, man. In Egypt. And in the ways of Egypt. Getting a gun, protecting yourself. That's that that's that spirit of pride, man. Oh, I don't need the most high. I'm a I'm a I'm a protect myself. God and God ain't did nothing for me all this time. So I gotta I gotta I gotta help myself now. God ain't got us through no situation. That's the way our people think, man. So therefore, hey, <laughs> help yourself. And guess what? You're going to be numbered to the sword, as it says in Isaiah the 65th chapter. But this is um, Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses, and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. And It says, But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. So what? You're not seeking your heart by Shemal Shai. So it's vain and seeking these governments. 
seeking these rulers because you're not going to get any salvation and any help from them, man. You're going to get a sword. You're going to get death. All right. No help from, the, from, from these uh, governments. No help from your guns, you know, your cliques. Eventually, you're going to run out of ammo. You're going to run out of bullets. Eventually, you're going to run out of stamina because there's not going to be any food out here. It's not going to be anything for you to eat, man. So eventually, you're going to fail. You're going to lose. So it says, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his word. But we'll arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of, of them that work iniquity. So the Lord is going to rise up against you. The Lord is hey, going to throw you Israelites down, man, that have that mindset. Oh, my gun is going to help me. This is going to help me. That's going to help me in that day. If you're not seeking your Habash Shemal Shai, you will not get any help whatsoever, man. You're going to get destroyed. You're going to get stumped out by the plagues that your Habash Shemal Shai is going to have out here. The only way that you're gonna, the only way that you're gonna get protected, is, is, is if you call on him that's bringing the plagues and the destruction, which is Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. Esau can't help you. Esau is losing. Esau is falling down, man. This is the this is the Lord's plan. If you wanna if you wanna get protected and saved, you gotta get with Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. So it says now the Egyptians are men and not God. So you're trusting in mortal men that can do nothing. Mortal men that are gonna lose. Mortal men. That 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 Yahweh Shemal Shai is gonna rise up and throw down. Though they their their ways, the Lord is gonna rise up and throw down, man. All right, all their guns and all their military might, all that shit is gonna be stumped out. So if you got that man set to think, hey, this is what's gonna help me, this is what's gonna protect me in that day, hey, you're gonna fall right along with them. So it says, in their in their horses' flesh and not spirit, when Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that help it shall fall. And he that is hoping shall fall down And they all shall fail together So you're ultimately going to fail man Trusting in this system Trusting in Esau Edom Thinking that his government is, his government is going to protect you And help you in that day They're going to provide for you man Just because you got a, got a good job Or you may know connects inside Inside of Esau's system and all that shit Alright at the end of the day You're still going to fail You're still going to lose You're still going to fall down Esau is going to fall down man his ways are gonna are, are gonna fall, all right. So you trying to a, a be a be a goddamn uh, malicious group, or trying to band together and make a malicious group, or a be be uh, malicious yourself and you know a, a, have guns and uh, rack, rack up ammo and all this shit, man. Eventually you're gonna be destroyed because the Lord is not with this world. He's not with this place. He's throwing this place down, man. And the only way to to get protected is a call on his name doing what he has asked you to do forsaking your wicked and evil ways and coming back to him it says isaiah 65 and 12 it says therefore will i number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter so the lord is going to number all of you to the sword all of you israelites that don't want to get on the right page you don't want to get with the program serving your by shemal shai and you're just going to be destroyed man it's just destined for you to die anyways because the majority of our people are going to be destroyed. Two-thirds of, of, of the nation of Israel here in America is going to die. Guaranteed, man. 100% guaranteed. So majority of our people are just not going to get this. They're just not going to understand this. They're just not going to hear this. So they must be numbered to the sword. They must fall down. They must be destroyed. But they were still out here to tell you and warn you, hey, don't have that mindset. Don't think like that. Don't think that you're, you're, you're going to get through this on your own, man. Because <laughs> you're not. You're going to fail. It says, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes, and did shoes that wherein I delighted not. A people shows everything that the Lord did, did not delight in. They trust in their guns. They trust in their, in, in their own might. They trust in Esau, Edom. They trust in these false gods. So therefore, you're going to be numbered to the sword. You're going to bow down to the slaughter. All right, because the Lord had his hand out here, stretched out here, week in and week out, day in and day out. These lessons go up, man. These, these, uh, we out there on the highways and byways preaching to our people, a rebuking our people, telling them to get right, begging them to get right with Yahweh Bashim Al We're crying out to you, man. But, hey, our people pushed away the hand. They don't want to hear what, what, what's being said. So, hey, man, so be it. More death to you. If any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. You don't want to hear this. You don't want to get right. 
You don't want to understand that, hey, man, hey, hey, that, that, that weapon ain't going to protect you on that day. It's going to be a lot worse than what you think, a lot worse than what the prophets think. And you want to keep moving in, 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 that, in that ignorance? Hey, hey, go on here. Be my guest. It says, therefore, thus said, yeah, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, those that are not the servants of the Lord. You're going to be hungry in that day because, hey, as I mentioned, that famine is coming. That, that, that thirst is coming, man. It says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall uh, be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So this is what's coming to the wicked of our nation. All right, the sword, death and destruction, calamities, plagues, man. A famine. And that's all because you don't want to seek the Lord, the Lord God, uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Hey, if you don't want to do that, hey, just prepare for destruction, prepare for death. Because the Lord has protection out here. And that's only if you call on his name. And truth is in truth and in sincerity. Proverbs 18 and 10 it says, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous running into it, and it's safe. So only the righteous are gonna call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. But what? They're gonna be protected. They're going to be delivered. They're going to eat and drink in that day. While you people are going to pine away for thirst. All right. You're going to pine away for, for hunger, man. You're all going to be destroyed. And the Lord is going to have many instruments of death out here for you. You're not just going to get gunned down. You people are going to die horrible, grievous deaths, man. Horrible, grievous deaths. All type of... All, hey, the Lord got a million ways to die. Fuck a thousand ways to die, man. A million ways to die. All right. A lot of you people are going to be gang graped. All right, you're going to be snatched up. You're going to be a hey, 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 hey. people are going to take turns on you, man. Hey, running trains on your ass, men and women alike. All right, we here in Babylon, man. It's, it's going to get fucking crazy out here. And if the Lord is not on your side, and if you ain't trying to get right with Yahweh by Shema Shah, hey, just prepare for those things to come for you. And you will know that the prophet have been among you. Second Ezra 2 and 27 says, Be not weary for when the day... Of trouble and heaviness coming, when Jacob's trouble come, when all hell breaks loose, when great sufferings are, are, are out here on the planet Earth, weeping and gnashing of the teeth, others shall weep and be sorrowful. So all the rest of these people are gonna weep. They're gonna be sorrowful. They're gonna howl for vexation of spirit. They're hey, howling. It, it, it's man, that's a that's that's when you're going through pain. You're going through hell. All right? You see a dog getting attacked by a pack a pack of wolves. He he making all type of sounds. Man, he making oh you know <laughs> screaming man. Howling to the top of his lungs, and that's what you people are going to be doing with sorrow and and and, and a sorrow all in your heart, man. You know, you're going to be eating your children, you're going to see your children get dashed to pieces right before your eyes, as it says in uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter. You know, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So, the prophets, a hey, the the one third, those that are seeking how about Shemal Shai, praying to the Lord, you know. Doing what they need to do, a uh, plan their, they stand in their lot, plan their road, and they're gonna be, they're gonna be merry, they're gonna have abundance in that day, eating and drinking, you know, praising, praising the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Says the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. So the Lord is gonna be protecting us. He's gonna have a covering and a hedge over us in that day, man. While everybody else is going to be hey, going through hell, not going to have anything to eat, anything to drink in that day. They're going to be, gun, they're going to be uh, gunned down left and right. They're going to run out of ammo. But what? We're going to be protected. Hey, we're, we're, uh, these heathens are going to envy us, man. Two thirds of our nation, they're going to envy us. They're going to look at us, man. They're going to be wishing that they could have what we had, wishing they could have the protection that we have. And they're not going to be able to do a goddamn thing about it. Nothing against us because the Lord is going to have a special spirit. Uh, surrounding us in that day, man. All right, and the angel's gonna be protecting us in that day, as it says in Proverbs, the 34th chapter. All right, the Lord has his angels. Uh, they, you know, I'm gonna just end it on that. I'm gonna just get it. This is uh, Psalms 34 and verse 7. It says, The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivered them. So, the angels of the Lord is gonna be around us, protecting us, man, delivering us. Hey, one more. Psalms 91. 
And that day, man, we at the end of the day, we're going to be good. We're going to go through hardships. We're going to go through hell. You know, we're going to go through things, man. But hey, that's the way. That's the way that we're going to get to the kingdom of heaven. We must be tried. We must be tested. But the elect are going to pass every single test. And the Lord is going to bring them through those tests. He's going to deliver them through those tests, man. He's, a, he's gonna have his angels around us, protecting us and delivering us. This is um Psalms 91 and verse 11. It says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So the Lord is gonna have his angels over us, man, protecting us. All right, taking charge, uh, having charge over us, man, to make sure that nothing happens to us, to make sure that we eat that day, to make sure that we hey go this way, go that way, don't go that way, you know, to keep us in all of our ways. So, hey, if you don't want to get right with the Lord, just prepare for great suffering and great death, man. But, hey, for those that are with your heart about Shai, keep doing what you're doing. Keep fighting. Keep pushing this word. Keep being prayed up, man, because the Lord got us. So I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, that will honor our elders and apostles of great meals, so that I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akim that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom. Wow, a Baba ball.